money for me. I get so damn phony. Just get out my way. Swerving through lanes, I be drifting away. And I can't complain, swear that I be okay. Yo, what is up guys? It is Josh back with another video and I know you guys are wondering where I've been recently I have been on summer vacation So I have been enjoying my last summer in high school So that's where I've been I haven't been uploading that much But we're actually getting back on that grind since school has started recently and for this video guys I know what you're thinking if you came into this video not knowing how to edit by the time this video is over I'll literally have you knowing how you can fully edit your own Fortnite montage in DaVinci Resolve for 100% free completely before I actually get into it though I just want to say it's 100% free to support me drop a like comment subscribe you can change your mind at a later date if you don't enjoy my videos for some strange reason but I hope you guys do enjoy and I'll see you guys inside of DaVinci Resolve all right guys so once you have actually launched DaVinci Resolve don't mind this video by the way I was contemplating quitting editing but uh, we're just not gonna talk about it uh, the first thing you want to do is just go into new project right here and you're gonna start a new project you name whatever you want I'm gonna call it sus is what I'm gonna call it for no apparent reason whatsoever um, all we're gonna do here, you can just press skip if it gives you a little update notice. We are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now, just so you guys are aware. Uh, you can download that. The link to that will actually be in the description. Go into your project settings to actually start though, and just make sure your uh, resolution set to 1920 by 1080, which is just the standard high quality resolution for editing your own videos. Change the timeline frame rate and make sure the playback frame rate is both on 60 FPS, which will lead to smooth playback when you're actually looking for that. Um, all we're gonna do now is just, you're gonna import some clips so i'm just gonna select like three right here we're gonna drag them into the media pool right here i'm gonna quickly give you guys a tour because you guys probably are new to davinci resolve so right here you might actually come and it just might look like this you can bring these pop-ups right here media pool and effects library uh, what effects library is is it has a bunch of different effects you could actually add to your clips whether it's for impacts transitions it boasts a lot of cool features for that that you can actually add to the clips themselves the media pool right here is actually where you can add your media whether it's songs overlays clips all that stuff that'll actually go up here in the top left corner and then from there you can just drag it into the timeline uh, next moving on the timeline is just this area right here it looks like a little ruler up top and then above we have a bunch of different controls that we can actually use for that and then lastly once we have a clip in there we can see the inspector in the top right which we can actually get rid of but I don't know why you'd want to get rid of it because it doesn't really make sense uh, it gives you the options to you know crop the video it gives you the options to zoom it in which I'm not going to do and then it gives you also the options to like reposition it up down using the x y axis rotate it randomly in a circle if you wanted to I don't know why you'd want to do that but you do you if that's what you're into um, and then lastly the volume levels you can adjust those by turning it down you could have it shift from left to right ear all that stuff but we're actually not gonna get involved with that anytime soon so the first thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna find wherever we actually have a song saved to so for me where I actually have it saved to is I have it saved to a folder on my desktop called music dmix music and what I actually do is I use a program called dmix I'll have the link to that in the description if you guys want to download that all you got to do is just make a little free account 100% free then you could literally look up any single song that is on YouTube and download the high quality version on it because if you are using a youtube to mp3 downloader a you're not supposed to because it is illegal technically and two you're not going to get the full quality you're going to lose some of the audio quality if you're actually trying to do that um, but what we're actually going to do is we're going to drag in one of the songs that we want so i'm actually going to drag in the song never change by dusty stay true it is a classic for fortnite highlight songs and uh, i feel like it's forgotten but for the rest of you guys it actually will bring a lot of nostalgia so that's why i'm going to be using it so i can put it in the intro and clickbait the living shit out of this video all right so once we've actually dragged in the song all we're going to do is we're going to drag it to the beginning of the timeline trim it down and we're going to find the part that we actually want to use so I'm actually going to lay out markers right here. The main beats are just the songs where we can tell, you know, there's going to be a beat drop. So right here, for example, just get out my way. Swerving through lanes, I be drifting away. And I can't complain, swear that I be okay. All right, so I've actually laid out three markers because we did have three clips in the media pool. So that'll pretty much just give us the option to actually sync up three clips that we've actually imported. Um, all I do for that is I just highlight the clip and I press M, which actually adds a marker, or you can just highlight it and press the marker button up here. Completely up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly change the marker color to red 
And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the, you know, hi-hat or clap after every beat, which is always the transition point. You'll find that in almost every single Fortnite highlights song, there is always a main beat. And then there's always like a clap after that. And I always use that clap for transitions because it makes it flow a lot better than if you were to just normally, you know, randomly just toss a transition out of nowhere. It just doesn't really flow that well. The syncing is off. And uh, so yeah, right here, what we're gonna do, we can see this clap right here is where we want to add that red marker. And then we have this other clap right here. And then lastly, we have our third clap right there, which is actually where we're going to end the video. Or not end the video, but end the little sample that we're actually going to be creating for this tutorial. Um, all we got to do now is just highlight any one of these clips right here. And in the top right, what we're going to do is we're just going to double click on the clip like I did. And then you can use these arrow things to just, you know, trim it down. And I'm actually going to find the part where we get the kill, which is always where we land the pellets for the first frame. So we can see if we go one frame back, there's no pellets in the shotgun right here. But if we go one frame to the side, we can see the pellets are showing up. So just highlight the clip press M and that'll actually add a marker and we're actually going to line that up with our blue marker. I know the markers are still red, so we're going to change it back to blue just so we don't get confused. I'm going to delete the markers and then add blue markers, we trim this down, expand that out to the left. And just like that, we should be good. And we have a fully synced clip. We actually haven't added velocity yet, so we're going to deal with that next. Um, but we can see once we actually add velocity to that clip, it should look a lot better. All I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and add a bin and then we are going to just rename it and we're going to call it used and that's where I actually drag all my used clips into that way it doesn't make the uh, the media offline which is what we never we don't want that to actually be in our timeline just because it will corrupt kind of the whole thing and you have to re-import it and it gets really annoying. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing with the second clip where we trim it down just to the portion we want to use we can always adjust it after. And I'm going to use that for the third kill in this right here. And since it's a snipe, we're actually going to do it the first frame on impact. We can see right here, this frame, it shows like a little siphon kind of thing. But if we go back, there's not really an impact. So we're going to make sure that that is actually the frame lined up with the marker. So that is that. And what we're going to do now, and then we just know that it's looking good for syncing just play it back make sure it's good and then for this one right here um, this is kind of a bad clip to use so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly find a clip that would actually be better to use in this uh, beat drop all right so I got a better clip now I'm just going to uh, highlight the part of the clip that I want to use so for example there's this part right here and we're gonna again do it to the first frame that the pellets hit Trim it down on the right side, just like this. Then we're gonna line it up, extend it out on the right side, then extend it out on the left side, just like this. And just like that, it should be good. Uh, all we gotta do now is actually add velocity. So if you guys don't know how to do that, I'll quickly show you a more advanced way to do that versus showing you the beginner way. Cause honestly, it's better to learn the advanced way and then you can kind of determine what way works best for you. So we're gonna unlink the clips right here after right clicking just like this. So the audio and video are separated, right click on it, go into retime curve. We're just gonna make this a bit expanded just so it's easier to see. Click retime speed, uncheck retime frame, and then uncheck retime speed, re-click it. Just, it's glitchy like that. I don't even know how to explain it, but we're gonna add a speed point on the kill, which is the uh, frame that we actually have in the marker. We're gonna go seven frames back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to actually add a, another keyframe right here. We're gonna drag this up to 300, and then we're gonna go one, two, three frames to the right, add another keyframe, drag this up to 150% speed just like this. And then lastly, we're gonna drag this one down to 60. And what that'll do is it'll add a nice little velocity, highlight this keyframe right here, press this little ease button, drag it out to the max, highlight this one and ease it just like that. And then lastly, we're just going to resync these up right here. And what that'll do, it'll add a nice velocity for our clips. We're actually just gonna unlink all the other clips just so we can redrag them out. I'm gonna unlink that so we don't actually have to deal with that next. But like you can see, it adds a nice little velocity right here. 
So if we zoom in, just so I can quickly show you. Just get out my way. Swerving through lanes. Just get out my way. Swerving through lanes. I be drifting away. And it looks super nice. So I'm actually going to repeat the process within these uh, next two clips. And then I'll see you guys once I've done that. All right. So I've done the velocity for all three clips. Now, all we got to do, guys, is we're just going to add our effects now. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that without any plugins, actually. So we're going to go into our effects library on the left side right here. Drag in an adjustment clip. Make sure you start it starting on our clips marker. So not the clips marker. Sorry, but the marker on the song, which is our B drop. So we're going to have it. So it spans the duration of from the kill to the end of the clip. Go into our fusion tab. And what we're going to do is you're just going to find the... Um, folder that you have your preset saved to i'll have that actually in the description if you guys want to check that out um, but we got a no plugins flicker impact that i have that is super good that'll be in the description like i said and all you got to do for this just double click drag this connect the media into your camera shake connect the flicker edition to your media out and just like that you have a nice impact for your own videos and then all we got to do really from there is you can add some of the other presets that i will have in the description or what you can do to make it easier is you can just go into the adjustments layer again into the fusion tab and then this time change the glow from a pink to like a white if you want that'll make a difference so it kind of has a difference and uh, we're just going to originally duplicate the pink one again just like that and just have that so it has the same kind of impact there as well i'm just going to do that that is actually how you actually add effects to your montages for 100% free. No Sapphire plugins. You don't need to crack anything. And that is pretty much that. Um, all we're going to do now is we're going to add transitions. The cool thing about DaVinci is it offers the ability to actually add your own transitions in the app itself. So you could add like a cross dissolve, which you can just drag in between clips. And what that'll do, if I just quickly shorten that, disable this track with the effects. We can see it just does a direct cross resolve in the app itself where it just goes between the two clips or what you can do is you can use one like i don't even know the non-additive dissolve is a really nice one that i use all the time and that kind of just does like a, almost like a burn effect between the two clips that's 100 up to you guys what you want to do we have different slide transitions that was just recently implemented with davinci resolve 17 just like that they're kind of linear in my opinion um, if you don't know what that means, don't even worry about it. You can use them. What I use for my transitions is I use blur mode curves. That requires you to crack Sapphire plugins. I'm going to have a video on that coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, after you've done that, just add transitions to literally every single one, just like this. So I'm going to use a zoom in transition actually on the second clip right here. Second clip, zoom in. We're going to shorten it down so it's not that long. And then for this one, I'm going to drag in a non-additive dissolve. It'll go between these two clips. And then I'm just going to go find my ident. If you guys don't know, you can find people on Twitter, for example, to make you an ident if you want something like this. Um, super cool looking. Just kind of as a thing to symbolize that you've actually made it yourself. I'll link a couple people down below if you want to check them out so that I know that actually make idents for a reasonable price like this. For example, this ident was made by Skeeter FX. If you want to go check him out, he will be more than happy to make you an ident if you DM him, but he does not work for free, so you will actually have to pay for that. It is very cheap though. Don't worry about it. After that, all you got to do is just push your render tab. I'll quickly show you the best render settings. So for me, I just name it whatever. So we're just going to do sample for beginner tutorial. And just like this in the location of whatever folder you want. For me, it's going to be the YouTube videos folder. Go to the quality and change it to 160,000, which is what I use personally. Just copy all those settings. Just render it out. You do add to render queue. You press render all. And once you've actually done that, it will begin rendering your project. Hope you guys did enjoy the video though. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, you can change your mind at a later date. Also, feel free to leave me down below some recommendations that you want to see on the channel in the future in terms of tutorials. I'll be more than happy to listen to you guys for that. But hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace out.